So yes, we, here at the second screen event, uh, we're showing actually a few use cases uh, of our technologies. So first of all, um, ACR technology, automatic content recognition for uh, basically second screen synchronization. So we make iPads and you know mobile phones, smartphones listen to the sound of TV through the microphone, and from that sound, we basically decode watermark information or fingerprint information so that we know precisely what you're watching uh, but also where you are in time so you can actually uh, create uh, fully synchronized second screen experiences um, on your on your second screen device um, and that also works if you play back the content from a pvr or it's, a, it's an on-demand uh, uh, use case um, because it synchronizes to the sound it doesn't uh, synchronize to the moment of broadcast but actually at the moment that you watch so it works in all those use cases I think it's, there's multiple ways for advertisers. First of all, there is um, uh, you know, sponsored uh, uh, opportunities. So if you have a show uh, which, is, which is sponsored, you can, you can extend that sponsorship all the way down to the second screen, obviously, and, and create a whole experience around, around the brand. But what we see more recently, actually, is that there is a larger opportunity for advertisers for what we call multi-screen synchronized advertising. So we provide a platform uh, which is actually a real-time triggering service where we identify ads in real time immediately at the moment they play on TV and we convert that into a trigger feed so that we can actually push uh, another ad of the same brand, same product uh, onto the second screen fully synchronized. So it basically extends the ad opportunity from the prime screen all the way down to the second screen. Uh, and some research already has proven that that is uh, having a significant impact um, on the ad effectiveness uh, on TV. Yeah, I think an interesting one uh, was just presented here uh, earlier today by Anthony Rose of Zbox, how he is actually with his platform working in tandem with their broadcast partner NBC in, in the US and have uh, actually the broadcasters sell uh, the multi-screen advertisement experience both for TV as well as for the Zbox uh, second screen platform. I think it's an interesting use case. Um, more recently we have started to work also with uh, advertisement companies not so much related to specific second screen applications but to more general digital advertising. Uh, we're running a campaign at the moment here in the Netherlands uh, where Netflix has launched uh, earlier this week and if Netflix ads are on TV you will actually have a fair chance to receive at the same time a Netflix ad on maybe any of the websites you may be browsing at that moment in time. There is a lot of different use cases actually of the, of the technology, so we just discussed um, uh, synchronization, so we call that media interaction, so we make applications interact with, with media. Um, but a large other uh, deployment area for us as a company actually is uh, using the technology for anti-piracy purpose. So we watermark a lot of content in a lot of different parts of the ecosystem to make content traceable as an additional security measure uh, on top of or alongside uh, the traditional security solutions like digital rights management and commercial access for instance, um, who protect the delivery of content. But we see a fast-growing piracy problem right now where once the content is, is um, let go of the, of the secure domain and is rendered on the screen, actually there is now where the new piracy takes place. People just simply capture the video and put it back on the internet because we all have broadband these days and everyone can do it. It's very simple. So by our technology, we make all of those streams basically identifiable to the user. Where did it came from? So that if it happens during a live event, for instance, very quickly, we can detect what was the source of the problem and we can then turn down the source from that particular match that's going on uh, at that moment in time.